Good evening and welcome everyone to 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Katiba Devine. 24 hours after President Joe Biden announced that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race, former Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano tells 12 News why she believes Biden stepped aside and it has nothing to do with his health. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick joins us with more of his interview today with Napolitano. Yeah, Democrat Janet Napolitano stepped down as Arizona governor 15 years ago to become President Barack Obama's Homeland Security Secretary. But Napolitano remains very plugged into state and national Democratic politics. She goes way back with Kamala Harris and was once mentioned as a possible VP herself. We started, though, with Napolitano's take on President Biden. I know it was an incredibly difficult decision, but it's a courageous decision, and I believe it was the right decision. Janet Napolitano says it was the polls, not President Joe Biden's health, that persuaded him to shut down his re-election campaign. When they brought in the last sheaf of uh, polls, particularly from the so-called battleground states, uh, uh, it showed that his, his road to victory simply no longer existed. There are concerns about his health, given his performance in the debate at the end of June. How concerned are you? Do you think that was a factor? No, um, I, I think, uh, and I've been with the president uh, over the last months, and he is fully competent and capable of carrying out the responsibilities as president of the United States. The former Arizona governor and Homeland Security secretary has known Vice President Kamala Harris for many years. Both belong to the small community of women who were their state's attorney general. She clearly understands uh, the role of the criminal justice system and the importance of the rule of law. As governor in the 2000s, Napolitano clashed with the Republican president over border security. Now Napolitano defends Harris from criticism of the so-called immigration SAR role that Biden assigned to her. I think it's important to say that she never was... Uh, denominated a czar. I think that was a label given to her by others. There needs to be order at the border, and I anticipate we'll hear from her about that. With Harris pivoting to the search for a vice presidential running mate, Napolitano is one of many Arizonans who believe Senator Mark Kelly fits the bill. Napolitano was once rumored to be up for the job that Harris now has. Back in 2020, you were mentioned as a possible VP candidate. Were you ever vetted? No, no. I was, my name was on the list for the great mentioner, but I was never vetted. Would you have wanted the job? <laughs> I'm not answering that question. And just in minutes ago, the Democratic National Committee is putting Kamala Harris's presidential nomination on a fast track. Politico reports that under a draft timeline released today, a virtual vote on the party's presidential and vice presidential nominees could start as early as next week. That means Harris would have to name her running mate by the middle of that week. This is moving fast. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thanks. Stay with 12 News for complete up-to-the-minute coverage on the president's decision and the latest developments. You can find updates on air and online at 12newsand12news.com. And we have a